All right. Tonight we are going to talk about sim links, making symbolic links in Microsoft Windows so that you can uh, have files on multiple computers in your house uh, that are all the same file. This is useful for a lot of different things, but I myself I play video games. I play multi-box video games that require me to throw a lot of computers at the at the problem and all of those computers need to access a file as if it were on those computers so that I only have to edit one place and it changes it everywhere there's a lot of different ways you can use sim links in Windows but whatever you're using them for I'm gonna explain to you today how to get it done the first thing you have to do is you have to go to your control panel click on network and internet network and sharing center and change advanced sharing settings to what you see here turn on network discovery turn on file and printer sharing turn on sharing so anyone with read and write act anyone with network access can read and write this is probably default this is probably default turn off password protected sharing leave that allow windows to manage homebrew connections done do that on your second computer also we are looking into the window of our second computer here using team viewer which is a tool that allows you to view the desktops of other computers now you don't need team viewer for the purposes of this um, what we're going to do tonight but um, all right I was being I was being signaled off camera by my hot wife you don't need team viewer for the purposes of what we're doing tonight but um, I'm using it to show you what's happening on the second computer the first thing that you need to do is decide what you'll be sharing on your main computer and the easiest thing to do is just assume that everything you're going to be sharing is in the public folder every Windows 10 or Windows 7 computer has a user public folder if you click on users then public that folder is shared on the network as soon as you configure those network settings the way I showed you you might have to reboot after you configure them but as soon as you configure it that public folder is available for anybody to see on your network and look at all these things I've put in the public folder normally your public folder is going to start out empty and um, uh, you're gonna put whatever you want in there uh, it'll have some stock uh, directories in there like public documents public downloads public music now here's where the magic happens I moved a directory called interface to my public folder okay I also moved a directory called WTF to my public folder these two directories are um, from a video game called World of Warcraft and they are used um, there are some core directories to that video game now I don't let those directories exist in my mains World of Warcraft directory instead I keep them here in public and I link them to my main computers World of Warcraft directory let's go to that directory and I'll show you what I mean here is my main World of Warcraft directory all right this is the game that I stream it's the game that I play um, on on online and it's very important for me to be able to share my interface and my WTF directory with the rest of my computers in the house and how do you do this look this just looks like if you look closely this looks like it's just a shortcut is this just a shortcut Todd this is not just a shortcut now symbolic links use shortcut icons as their display this this is the only indication that you'll have that this might be a symbolic link it could also be a shortcut it's not a shortcut this is a sim link which is much more powerful much different so how did I make these sim links this is what I'm gonna teach you tonight the first thing you gotta to do to make a sim link like this and in fact I'm gonna delete mine right now 
I'm deleting my interface and my WTF sim links from my directory. Oh my gosh, WoW is not going to work anymore. Well, let's fix that. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to your start button and you want to start a command prompt. But it can't be any command prompt. It has to be an admin command prompt. So type CMD into the search bar. Notice it puts cmd.exe up here. Well, you're not going to just click that. You're going to right mouse it. And you're going to say run as administrator. Boom. That's the secret sauce that you're watching this video to get. Now you're going to change directories to the directory where you want to do the symbolic link. This is really important to make things simple. All right, so I'm going to say cd backslash. cd backslash is the universal DOS command. <laughs> DOS! This is a DOS window! And I'm using DOS commands from the 80s! Yes, it's true. That's the simple DOS command to uh, change. To <laughs> okay, I'm going to throw some jargon at you, okay? So you guys can't get scared away. That's the simple DOS command to change to the root directory of whatever drive you're on. Alright? If you're not if your command file comes up on the wrong drive, notice I'm on the C drive. Look, I'm not going to explain everything to you guys today, all right? You got to have some basic knowledge. But if you come up on the C drive and your directory is really on the D drive, well, there's a simple DOS way to fix that. You simply type the letter of the drive and a colon and enter. Now, now my root directory that I'm messing with is on the D drive, all right? You can do that with any drive, but I'm going to go back to the C drive because that's where my shit is. Sorry, kids. Um, so I'm on the C drive. I know my World of Warcraft directory is on the C drive. Now I'm going to show you a cool little semi-DOS trick. I, I say it's semi-DOS because this came around after DOS came around. And um, come here, Boba. Come on. He was popular at Home Depot. Here's my dog, Boba. Boba. Get up here. Get up here. Come on. I want some views. This is my dog, Poba. He's only, uh, how old is he, Monique? Nine months, nine months old. He's nine months old. What's going on, Boba? Give me a ball, Boba. All right. So the, here's the trick I want to show you. It's been around a while, but um, I'm going to say CD, change directory, to world. I know it's called World of Warcraft. I just have to hit the tab key and it finishes it for me. Notice there's spaces in the name of this directory. How can you have spaces in the name of directories? People who are from the Linux world, Unix world, they're like, uh, no, we wouldn't normally do that, but in DOS you can have spaces in the name of stuff. Um, so we're going to do that. And now I'm going to, um, I'm going to do a uh, dir. <laughs> dir. <laughs> It's the command you use to list directories in DOS, all right? Don't laugh, dir. It's LS in Unix, but uh, it's dir here, all right? So just deal with it. And you can see um, all the directories, and we're missing two. I'm missing my interface directory and my WTF directory. Does anybody remember where, my, where I put those? I put those in users public, all right? In users public. Now... I'm going to show you how to make your first link. Make link, MK link. I think it's L I N C. Is that right? Yes. Just type it with no arguments and you'll get a usage statement. All right. MK link. And now here's the very non intuitive, non Linux y um, part of it. The file you want to make comes first. So I'm going to make the file, the directory interface. All right, that comes first. Then where you want to link it from comes second. Um, and it's going to be C colon users public. By the way, tab still works. Int, and if I tab, it finishes it for me. Okay, this is not going to work. That should not have worked. This is not really going to work because interface is a directory and I didn't use the slash D. So this 
this link is going to be bad. If I go to the directory, um, I will see something called interface in this directory, and it's going to be a, a big heap and pile. See that? Click it. That don't work. Got to get rid of it because I did it wrong, and I did it wrong on purpose so I could show you why you need for directories you need to use slash D. So I'm going to go back here. I hit the up arrow to get my last command. I'm put a slash D. Doesn't matter whether it's capital or small. Do it again. Now what do I got in my directory? Oh look! Oh look! I have interface as a symbolic link. I click on it. Boom! I'm at the symbolic link in the right place. Okay, this is my user's public um, directory where interface is. Now let's do the same thing for WTF. Hit the up arrow again. Just change, use the backspace, use the backspace, um, use the left arrow to just space through and boom. Now I've got a WTF directory and that WTF directory points to, as if it were the same directory, it points to um, users local, users public, not local. Okay, fine. I've taught you how to make symbolic link directories on a computer. Now, what if you want to link files on a foreign computer as if that file existed on the computer? Well, let's go do that. I'm going to switch to my second computer now. I'm going to make this screen big. Okay. So the first thing you got to do is you have to map a network drive. All right. You've got to make a drive on your computer that that is a place on another computer. And here's how you do it. Just open up your um, open up your file explorer on Windows 7 or Windows 10 and um, actually don't open up your file explorer open up open up yes open up your file explorer open up um, your computer and you'll see a, a map network drive at the top and what you're gonna do is you're gonna click map, map network drive and then just browse for the folder. Call it Drive Z or call it whatever you want. Browse for the folder and then you're going to see all your computers on your network. You're going to know, okay, it's the KB Lake PC. And look, there's a users and there's a public. Okay, users public is already shared. I'm going to hit OK. Drive Z is going to be KB Lake PC users public. And oops, I moved my mouse and just say finish. Boom, now I have a Drive Z on my computer. Anytime I turn on my second computer, I'm going to be able to go to that Drive Z as if it were a drive on my computer. So look here. See that? Is that public KB Lake Drive Z? Boom. I open it up. These are the files in public on my other on my main PC. All right, so now I want to access a particular one of those files as a file in place on my foreign computer. And the file I really want is an interface, add-ons, super macro. I want this file right here for reasons I'm not going to explain to you people, but I do want this file in the same place in my World of Warcraft directory on this computer. So let's go to my World of Warcraft directory on this computer. This is the second computer, remember. We're going to open it up. We're going to go to C. We're going to World of Warcraft. Um, and no, no, I clicked the wrong thing. I'm not on my second computer. I've got to click my second computer. That was my first computer. Psych. C, World of Warcraft, All right? Interface, add-ons, Super Macro. All right, so this is where I want to make a symbolic link 
to my main computer. All right, I want to link this one file to my main computer. Notice I've already got it done. So this is SM Extend. Notice that there's a little shortcut icon on it. That's because I've already made a symbolic link out of this. So I'm going to delete this for now. Now remember, we're still on the second computer. Let me move this up so you know. This is the second computer. We're on the second computer. So I'm going to go to the second computers without actually make clicking on my first computer start bar. All right. Second computer start button. I'm going to go um, to type the CMD. You can do this on Windows 10 also. CMD. I'm going to right mouse on it. Run as administrator. Now I'm going to change again to my World of Warcraft directory. CD to root directory. CD to World of Warcraft interface add-ons. Notice I'm hitting the tab key. So I'm there. Dur. I almost did ls. I, I live my life in unit in Linux, so um, this is just my hobby. LS, not ls. Dur. <laughs> All right, notice, uh, let's see CD to super macro. Dur. Ooh, I really want to LS every time. Notice there's no SM extend here anymore. I need that SM extend file. So I'm going to do my make link. Remember, I have a drive Z now. I mapped it. If I do uh, L. If I do a dir z, it'll show me I have a drive z. And if I do a dir z interface add-ons super ma macro, it'll show you there is an SM extend there. This is the file I want living in my second computer as if it were coming from my first computer. So here's what we're going to do. We're in the we're in the directory without it, right? So we're going to do a mk link sm remember you put the file name first unlike in in unix extend.lua and then you specify the the path to the drive you mapped. z interface add-ons super macro sm sorry pre-tab sm extend oh why is it doing that sm extend dot lua file complete isn't working there boom all right let's go see if it worked Okay, so this, oh, look, we've got the link back. Did it work? All right, is it the same as the main computer? Well, let's see. Important note to users. Um, let's delete the word users on the main computer and see if it changes here. So I'm over here on the main computer. If I delete the word users on the main computer, and save it out. Let's go back to the second computer. Oh, look, it says load file. My editor thinks the file's changed. So I load the file, and guess what? It's changed. We have, indeed, created a symbolic link on the second computer to a file on the first computer that makes it seem like it's a file on the second computer. And when I edit one, I edit them all. That's all you got to do to start working with Simlinks. I'm Fury Swipes. I do nerdy stuff on World of Warcraft. And I hope this has helped you.